Okay, hi guys. Today I'm going to show you how to connect a factory I/O on your Excel, and also I'm going to show you how to control analog uh, using the Excel. So first of all, I have here an Excel file, and also you will open the factory I/O. So once open. Uh, shall I say I will put here the six meters long conveyor, okay? And I will put an automatic refill box. Then I will pay, place it at the top of your conveyor, okay? Okay. So put it here. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's try. Okay. Box is properly placed. Now in the Excel. I will add the uh, in the developer we will add the scroll this one scroll bar I will place it here okay now we already have a scroll bar Okay, the speed, uh, speed value, I will put it here, at the side, and I was assign the text box, ah, sorry, I press something. assign the text box from a cell so I'll take it from A5 press enter since I did not yet assign the scroll box you just right click the scroll and then uh, go to format control go to control click this the cell link go to A5 then the maximum value will be 10 okay and then okay click okay so here what's inside the a5 will be transferred to your text box then we'll make some design on my text box make the text bigger okay so i will choose font Okay, I like this. This is your speed. Okay, now the value is changing whenever I press the scroll. Okay, it's only until 10. So we'll make some color to make it more nice. Okay, so again, I will uh, copy this. Sorry. Delete, insert, text box, so I will put here the speed, okay, speed, Here. that is our speed too much big okay. 
So make this zero. Okay, now it's zero. After that, in order for us to link this to Excel, then we will open the keepware. So any OPC platform you can use. Uh, in my case, I'm using keepware, keep server X. And I already have project here. I will just add the tag. So if you want to know how I do this, then I will, I will uh, paste the link below on how to add tags on your keepware. So I will just, or I will just copy and paste. I will double click. This is for our speed. Since the cell is located in A5, then we'll change the row into five. And column one, click apply, click OK. So since speed is not a boolean, then we will uh, change this into, uh, we can put it flow. Yep. Then let's see if it's working. You just click this, just click this. So after that, go to the spreadsheet. So now our speed is zero. Let's move if it's, now it's one. It's supposed to have one value here. Okay, now our Excel and the OPC is already connected and we'll go back to our factory IO. So here in the factory IO, we need to configure the conveyor. You just right click. Go to configuration, then change the digital into analog. So digital means you just only start and stop. Fixed speed, this positive and minus. This will forward reverse, and this analog will be the speed. So I'm going to choose the analog. Okay, now it was been set to analog, then let's go to file. Click drivers. In the drivers, just choose the OPC client data. So this will be starting to scan for the available OPC and go to configuration. In the configuration, go to OPC server since it is still scanning, we'll just wait. So after scanning, then it will scan all the OPC available. Then since I'm using Keepware, then I will choose the Keepware. So after that, we'll just browse the items in order for it to take all the tags from this OPC server. Just go back, then this is the tags that has been uh, taken from our OPC. So as you can see, we have here the speed. Then we will go into put, in the actuators, we're going to put the roller conveyor on the speed. So since it's already assigned, then let's go back. Then uh, let's see, let's start. As you can see, it's moving. It's moving because you have here the value of one. So if I change the speed into higher, then the speed will also speed up, as you can see. Now it's a value of three, then it will uh, set the value into the third speed. So if I make it uh, higher, then the speed will also high. So as you can see, the motor is rotating fast, then the pallets get fast also moving. Since I don't put here the stop, if there's a pallet here, then it will continuously feed the pallet. So in order for you to slow down the production, then you need to change the speed. It's very easy. Sorry, but I need to put the pallet set aside. It's only for us to clear the conveyor. But I suggest I, you do not do that in actual since your manager will get fired you. <laughs> 
So you have here a slow speed of 4. So if I make it uh, more higher, then I can make it 10. So the speed will getting fast. Okay, remove, remove, remove. So I make it slow. Production demand is slow. Then it makes 0. So I can also drag here. I can also click the arrow button. Or I can drag. It's getting fast again. And make it slow again. In order for it to stop, then you make it zero. And your conveyor will stop. Very easy. I hope you understand it. So if you are wondering how I did this, the Excel, then I will uh, paste the link below on the how to create this project on your OPC. Okay, thank you guys. I hope you like it. And don't forget to subscribe.